Richard Patrick Dunn is a former Irish footballer who played as a defender. He has made 431 Premier League appearances, including 253 for Manchester City. Dunn began his professional career at Everton. He later spent nearly a decade at Manchester City before joining Aston Villa in 2009. In July 2013, he signed for Queen's Park Rangers. Dunn holds the Premier League record of being sent off a Euro joint eight times along with Patrick Vieira and Duncan Ferguson. He also holds the Premier League record of scoring ten own goals. He has also played internationally for the Republic of Ireland from 2000 until 2014. With Ireland he was a member of the 2002 FIFA World Cup squad and played in UEFA Euro 2012. Dunn announced his retirement from football in November 2015 after being released by Queen's Park Rangers. Club career. Equals Everton equals, having played schoolboy football in Dublin for home farm, Dunn joined Everton as a 15-year-old schoolboy in the 1994 Euro 95 season. The next season, he started to play for Everton reserves and in early 1997, Dunn signed a five-year professional contract. He was part of the successful 1998 FA Youth Cup squad along with Tony Hibbert and Leon Usman. Dunn made his debut under then-manager Joe Royal in 1997, at the age of 17. Under Walter Smith, however, he was often used out of position at right back, and was punished by Smith for two separate disciplinary incidents. Wimbledon reportedly had a bid accepted for Dunn, only for it to fall through and Dunn stayed at Everton for another year, again usually filling in at right back. Equals Manchester City equals. In the autumn of 2000, he was signed by Manchester City for a fee of a £3.5 million, rejoining his former manager Joe Royal. City had signed both Dunn and Laron Charvet as replacements for right back Richard Edgehill, Hill who had suffered from a dip in form. It was in the centre of defence where Dunn made his biggest impact on the team. Dunn had various partners in the centre of defence in his first season at the club and for a few games he played in a three-man defence with Andy Morrison and Steve Howey. His first season saw City relegated into the first division and acquire the services of a new manager, Kevin Keegan. Manchester City made an instant return to the Premier League, finishing the 2001 Euro 02 season as first division champions. Disciplinary problems in 2003 resulted in a club suspension, and his time at Manchester City looked to be over. However, Dunn returned to the first team following an intensive fitness programme, and within a few months gained an international recall. A number of consistent performances resulted in Dunn receiving Manchester City's Player of the Year award for 2004 Euro 05, which he also won in the 2005 Euro 06. 2006 a Euro 07 and 2007 a Euro 08 seasons, becoming the first player to win City's Pot Y award four times. In the 2006 close season, at the age of 26, Dunn was appointed club captain, taking over from Sylvan Diston, amidst rumours of Diston leaving City. On January 18, 2007, Manchester City teammate Mika Richards said, a Euro OE ever since year Euro unregistered trademark they come to this club Richard has just been quality. I play with him week in, week out and I think a Euro unregistered trademark s one of the best players year Euro unregistered trademark they played with. Year Euro unregistered trademark they played with John Terry and Rio Ferdinand in the England squad but Richard is right up there with them. On July 4, 2008. Dunn signed a new four-year contract with Manchester City to keep him at the club until 2012. In August 2008, Gary Cook, chief executive of City, said China and India are gagging for football content to watch and we Euro unregistered trademark re going to tell them that City is their content. We need a superstar to get through that door. Richard Dunn do us in a Euro unregistered trademark T roll off the tongue in Beijing. Dunn continued to play throughout 2008 Euro 09 making 47 starts in all competitions despite three red cards. He marked his 29th birthday with a goal in the 6 Euro 0 win against Portsmouth on September 21, 2008, while his eighth Premier League red card against Wigan Athletic in January 2009 equaled a record set by Patrick Vieira and Duncan Ferguson. Equals Aston Villa equals 
Following the signings of Colotura Copyright and Gillian Lescott, it was reported that Dunn could leave the city of Manchester Stadium with Aston Villa the most likely destination. Villa confirmed on August 27, 2009, that they had agreed a fee with Manchester City for the defender. Aston Villa filed the paperwork for the deal before the close of the transfer window but the Premier League announced that the deal could not be ratified until September 2, 2009, when the deal was completed. Villa manager Martin O'Neill later stated the fee paid for Dunn was a £5 million and that the player had signed a four-year deal. Dunn made his debut in a 1-0-0 win over Birmingham City at St Andrews, courtesy of an 85th-minute strike from Gabriel Agboneha. Following the game, Dunn praised his new teammates James Collins, Carlos Gouy copywriter and Stephen Warnock, claiming that their partnership in defence seems to have worked reasonably well. On September 26, 2010, Dunn played the full 90 minutes alongside Collins against Blackburn Rovers at Ewood Park in a 2 a Euro 1 defeat. On October 5, 2009, Dunn scored his first goal for Villa, coincidentally against his former club Manchester City, in a 1 a Euro 1 draw. He was applauded by Manchester City fans for his respect in refusing to celebrate his goal. He netted his second goal later that month in the team's 2 a Euro 1 home victory over Chelsea. On February 28, 2010, he started for Aston Villa in their 2010 Football League Cup final defeat to Manchester United at Wembley Stadium. He was named in the PFA Team of the Year for the 2009 Euro 10 season. On November 21, 2010, he started and played the full 90 minutes alongside Kieran Clark against Blackburn Rovers in a 2 0 0 defeat at Ewood Park. On December 11, 2010, Dunn was dropped from the team and replaced by Carlos Gouy Copyrightler. Dunn was recalled to the starting lineup in the away game against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge, which Villa ended up drawing 3 0 3. On February 1, 2011, he started and completed the full 90 minutes alongside James Collins in the Premier League game with Manchester United at Old Trafford in a 3 a Euro 1 defeat. On March 18, 2011, Dunn and Collins were fined a total of £200,000 a Euro two weeks a Euro unregistered trademark wages each a Euro by Villa for a drunken confrontation with club staff during a team bonding exercise. At the end of the 2010 a Euro 11 season, Dunn made 35 appearances in all competitions for Villa. Ahead of the 2011 a Euro 12 season, new manager Alex Mikhailish has said because of his aerial ability and such good awareness on the ball he will be an automatic first choice at the back. On July 27, 2011, he started and played the full 90 minutes in the 1 Euro 0 victory over Blackburn Rovers in the 2011 Premier League Asia Trophy held in Hong Kong. On July 30, 2011, he started the final with Chelsea and also completed the full 90 minutes in a 2 a Euro 0 defeat. On February 12, 2012, Dunn fractured his right clavicle in a collision with Joe Hart during a Premier League match against his former club Manchester City. He had surgery in Birmingham the following day. Dunn travelled to the NFL team the Cleveland Browns in order to retain specialised medical care for his injury who at the time were owned by then-chairman of Aston Villa, Randy Lerner. In May 2013, manager Paul Lambert announced that the Irishman was being released on a free transfer. Equals Queen's Park Rangers equals. Dunn joined Queen's Park Rangers on July 15, 2013, on a free transfer. Dunn made his first QPR appearance playing a full 30 minutes against Exeter City in the League Cup. He scored his first goal for the club against Burnley on February 1, 2014. Dunn holds the unfortunate record of the most own goals in the Premier League, scoring his 10th in a 3-2 defeat against Liverpool on October 19, 2014, in a game which saw QPR score two own goals to hand Liverpool the victory. His side, QPR, were eventually relegated that season, finishing in last place with 20 more goals conceded than any other side. On 31 May 2015, however, Dunn's contract expired and, among five other players, was released by the club. Despite speculation he was going to retire, he is currently still searching for a club. He has been linked with moves to MLS, the Indian Super League and the League of Ireland. International Career 
Dunn played for the Republic of Ireland national under-19 football team in the 1997 UEFA European Under-18 Football Championship finals in Iceland. Dunn made his debut for the Republic of Ireland on April 26, 2000 in a 1 Euro 0 loss against Greece in a friendly match. His first international goal came just two months later and only his third cap as he scored on June 4 against Mexico, helping his team come from 2 a Euro 0 down to drawing 2 a Euro 2. He was selected by Mick McCarthy to play against the likes of the Netherlands and Portugal during Ireland's successful 2002 FIFA World Cup qualification campaign, where he also scored his first competitive international goal in a 2 a Euro 0 win against Estonia. Dunn was part of the Irish squad that played at the 2002 FIFA World Cup, but the centre-half pairing of Gary Breen and Steve Staunton was favoured by Mick McCarthy, meaning Dunn did not even make an appearance as a substitute. The emergence of John O'Shea and Brian Kerr's preference for Kenny Cunningham meant that Dunn's chances with Ireland were extremely limited during their unsuccessful attempt to qualify for UEFA Euro 2004. He did score his fourth international goal in a friendly against Turkey just prior to the end of the campaign. Dunnigan found himself out of favour with Kerr during the qualification campaign for the 2006 FIFA World Cup, only featuring in the final three matches which included a 1 Euro 0 defeat to France, a game that ultimately cost Ireland qualification. Another change of manager for Ireland saw Dunn's former teammate, Steve Staunton, use him during the majority of the Euro 2008 qualification campaign. Early defeats to Germany and a humiliating 5 a Euro 2 loss to Cyprus, a match in which Dunn scored before giving away a penalty and being sent off, ensured qualification was always beyond the Irish. Dunn only missed three of the 12 matches, due to suspension and injury rather than form. Giovanni Trapattini was appointed Ireland manager for the qualification campaign ahead of the 2010 FIFA World Cup and cemented Dunn as Ireland's first choice central defender. Dunn played in all 10 games helping Ireland finish second and qualify for a playoff whilst also scoring goals in both 1 Euro 1 draws with Bulgaria, as well as winning the Man of the Match award in the away game held in Sofia. He also played the entire matches in both legs against France as Ireland were controversially knocked out to a Euro 1 on aggregate after extra time. Dunn was famously pictured sitting distraught on the pitch in Paris as Thierry Henry, who assisted William Gallas winning goal after controlling the ball with his hand, consoled Dunn. On February 8, 2011, Dunn started and completed the full 90 minutes in Ireland's First Nations Cup game against Wales in a 3 Euro 0 win. On March 26, 2011, he started and played the full 90 minutes in the Group B Euro 2012 qualifier against Macedonia in a 2 Euro 1 victory at the Aviva Stadium. On August 10, 2011, he started and played the full 90 minutes alongside Sean St. Ledger in the goalless draw against Croatia at the Aviva Stadium. On September 6, 2011, Dunn started and played the full 90 minutes in the goalless draw against Russia in Moscow. Dunn gave perhaps the best performance of his career, winning the Man of the Match award as he almost single-handedly stopped a Russian team which totally dominated midfield and created wave after wave of attacks. Former Ireland defender Paul McGrath described Dunn's heroics as the best performance from an Irish central defender he had ever witnessed, including his own performance against Italy in the 1994 FIFA World Cup. On October 11, 2011, Dunn started and played the full 90 minutes in a 2 a Euro 1 victory for Ireland over Armenia at the Aviva Stadium which gained them a playoff spot for UEFA Euro 2012, scoring in the 60th minute his eighth goal on his 69th international appearance for his country. After the team qualified for UEFA Euro 2012 with an unprecedented 5 a Euro 1 aggregate playoff win over their opponents Estonia, Dunn described it as the best experience I've probably had in football. He started in all three of Ireland's Group C matches at UEFA Euro 2012, as they were defeated 3 a Euro 1 by Croatia, 4 a Euro 0 by Spain, and 2 a Euro 0 by Italy. On June 2, 2013, Dunn made his return to the national team for the first time in a year as a second-half substitution against Georgia in a 4 a Euro 0 Irish win.
Dunn made his return to the Irish team in his first competitive game for 15 months in a 1 Euro 2 loss to Sweden at the Aviva Stadium in 2014 FIFA World Cup qualifying. On July 31, 2014, Dunn retired from international football. Equals international goals equals, scores and results list Ireland's goal tally first. Honours. Equals club equals, Everton, FA Youth Cup, 1998, Manchester City, Football League First Division, 2001 Euro 02, Aston Villa, Football League Cup, 2009 Euro 10, Queen's Park Rangers, Football League Championship Playoffs, 2013 Euro 14. Equals International Equals, Republic of Ireland, UEFA European Under 18 Football Championship, 1998. Equals Individual Equals, PFA Team of the Year, 2010, FAI Senior International Player of the Year, 2007, 2011, Manchester City FC Player of the Year, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, Most Own Goals by a Single Player in Premier League History. Career Statistics. Equals Club Equals, as of August 5, 2015. References. External Links. Richard Dunn a Euro FIFA competition record, Richard Dunn career statistics at Soxabase.